call for artists zebra wood and this blood wood. First step was to put the headstock chamfer in. So now that I've got that, I'll go back and I've drawn my lines out on here and I'll follow those on the bands on. Without I need to take my piece of blood wood here and make the fingerboard. And now it's time to glue. I'm gonna go ahead and take these other two pieces of zebra wood and clean them up so that I can make the side pieces for the body. I let that glue overnight and now the clamps are off and I'm just gonna go ahead and flush up the sides here with the router. Now it's time for me to start radiusing the fingerboard. I put in a radius down here and I put in another radius down here. It's done now. It's time to move on to carving the back of the neck. Two radiuses and now it's time to go back and start connecting the straight lines. So what I've just done is I've roughed out the transitions here from the headstock into the body. The next step will be to clean up the back of the headstock. Alright, it's all ready to glue now. So I glued overnight and now I've gone and drawn out my lines and I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and cut this out. Next step is to take it over to the sander and... These are my topography lines for carving the top. I'm gonna now it's time for me to remove some material from my um, output jack. All right. So the next step is to finish this transition into the neck transitions are done everything's just waiting for sanding at this point right now I'm waiting to sort out the bridge and the pickup so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two pieces of blood wood and fashion a little chin rest out of it I was waiting for my magnets to show up for me to make the pickups so I'm gonna start by using this piece of blood wood and cut out the pieces I want to use and drill some little locator holes all right so I've gone ahead and sanded them so now they're ready to be glued in and the next step will be to start wrapping those with wire but now that those are made I can locate the cavities here on the front of the body and start making the bridge from the same piece of blood wood let that glue for 30 minutes and then I'll glue on the other side of the bridge by right, tomorrow I'll trim it back to its final shape now that the bridge and the pickup are finalized, it's time to move on and finish carving the body of the instrument. Drill holes for the string ferrules and for the tuning keys. Ready to spin. So I made a sudden decision to cut this thing last night, so now I gotta re-sand this. And now it's time to finish up the headstock here. So it's finally time to begin this really long sanding and finishing process. I'll start with using the orbital and hitting the whole body with 80 grit. All right, next step is to raise the grain with a little bit of water, and then I'll go back and start filling all these little potholes in the wood itself. Okay, so while that was drying, I went ahead and final sanded these two little pieces for my rests. Now it's time for me to go back and hand sand this lady grit. Now, I'll orbital real quick with 120 all over it. The fingerboard's up to 220 and that's as far as I'll take it before I do the spray finish. Right now I've got my branding iron heating up. Now I'm going to clean up the burn and take the whole body up to 180 grit. Raise the grain once again with some mineral spirits. 
Okay, I'm going to orbital it up to 220 now, and then it'll be time to locate and glue on the bridge. I'll let the clamp sit on there for about 30 minutes or so. Hand sand it up to 320. The last two steps are to wipe it down with some lighter fluid and then use the masking tape to tape off the fingerboard and the bridge slot. Alright, we're ready to spray. I ended up doing four coats today. So I let it sit overnight. I'm going to get hit it with 320 again. Alright, another round of spraying. Already got a few more coats and now it's ready to just hang for 10 days and then I'll start the lacquering process. And I've gone back and filled the grain and sanded it up at 320 and now we're ready for another round of spraying. It's time to do lacquer. Day two of lacquer, I uh, just sanded it with some 220 and now I'll go back and blow it off with some air and then spray it with four, four or five coats of lacquer. Right, this is day three of spraying lacquer. I'm about to take it down and sand it with some 320 and then spray another four coats and let this thing sit. I've let the lacquer cure now for a little over a week, so it's time for wet sanding. I got the tape off the fingerboard, now I'm going to sand it up to steel wool so I can start putting some oil on it. Now that all the easy hardware is on, it's time for me to finish up these pickups. Now I'm going to make some brass legs for the rest. I'm going to go ahead and make the saddle and the nut for it. The pickups and the electronics are done, the strings are on, it's time for me to start on my little amp. So I've got my speaker kit here and the first thing I'm going to do is make some templates so that I can route the holes into the body. That's it. It's time to plug this thing in and see how it sounds. 